Every set has its own culture, and it comes usually from the person in charge. And Noah Hawley might be the hardest working person in show business right now. He has a lot of irons in the fire, and you would never, ever know it. A showrunner does everything. You're the head writer, you're prepping all the directors, you're a producer of the show, which means you have to oversee the budget. I cast the show and have the main relationship with the actors, and you know, at this point I'm directing. Each day is an intricate web of responsibilities. I'm not sure what the BM stands for. Don't move. I'll be right there. It all starts with the scripts and the stories and the characters. First thing that I do is come up with a concept for it. Then I start to think, all right, well, so where does this go? What's the middle of the show look like? And where might the end be? And then I sit down to write that first script so that the characters can have voices, so you can sort of get a real style, a sense of how this year is distinctive. Then I have to show people what this movie is, and the only way to show them is to make it. really great working with Noah. And one of the things I really admired about Noah's work was how brave he was. The filmmaking is really quite edgy and brave. And I can imagine if you were directing a movie, the producers wouldn't let you do half of the stuff that he does because he's really experimental. It's all in his mind, you know, there's, there's so much trust there. He so definitively knows what it needs to be. But at the same time, he's actually really collaborative, which I was sort of surprised about, just because I know he's such a visionary. But he's remarkable. He'll say, okay, we've got that. Let's try something very different here. Let's add a, a something that may not seem right. So he's very open. You know, he's shaped the whole thing, so I'm trusting him implicitly. What I walked into was a very well-oiled machine with no histrionics, which as an actor is exactly the kind of environment you want to work in because it helps you focus and do your work. I don't know how he manages to direct, write novels, write our series, do all the editing. I'm really still unclear about how he's accomplishing all those things. Perhaps he's cloned himself, I'm not really sure. There's 500 television shows in this country on the air now, and my feeling is the only reason to make another one is if you think it can be the best show on television. So I approach it with a qualitative mindset. Fargo's always about something, even as it's an entertainment, even as it's a crime story, but it has to exist for more than just entertainment value. And as a storyteller, I don't want to passively entertain people. I want to engage them emotionally and intellectually and engage their imaginations.